and a significant development in the special counsel's probe into former President Trump's effort to overturn the 2020 election and his role in the January 6th riot at the Capitol. Former Vice President Pence testified before the special counsel's grand jury Thursday. NBC's Bree Jackson is live in D.C. And Bree, former president tried to block this testimony from happening, but he obviously failed in doing so. That's right. Good morning, Maureen. Dave, well, last month, a federal judge ordered former uh, Vice President Mike Pence to comply with a subpoena to testify, which former President Trump tried to appeal. However, this week, that appeal was rejected. A dramatic development in the investigation into attempts to overturn the 2020 presidential election. Former Vice President Mike Pence testifying against his old boss, former President Trump. Pence allies say he has nothing to hide. He was pretty explicit in his book and wrote about it pretty extensively. And so there really shouldn't be any secrets there for people anxious to know what it is he would testify. Trump, who is running for president again, responded to the news. Mr. President, what do you think of Mike Pence testifying today? Oh, I don't know what he said. Let me get a picture. I have a lot of confidence. This comes as Pence weighs a run for the White House. Former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley already declared her candidacy. If you vote for Joe Biden, you really are counting on a President Harris because the idea that he would make it until 86 years old is not, um, is not something that I think is likely. President Biden unveiled his bid for re-election Tuesday and is focusing on issues. Look, let's protect our children from gun violence, Keep lowering the prescription drug cost. Let's protect Social Security Medicare. Potential voters are bracing themselves for the political battles ahead. It's way too soon for that. It seems like it seems like we just came out of the last one. If it's a rematch with Trump and Biden, um, that just confirms that we're living in a dystopian hellscape nightmare that I cannot escape from. It's kind of like Groundhog's Day, except not funny. The race for the White House is already heating up. And today, President Biden holds an event with top Democratic voter uh, donors. Now, as you may recall, back in 2020, the Biden campaign shattered fundraising records, becoming the first ever to raise $1 billion. Maureen. And Bree, the former vice president claimed that he tried to squash the subpoena be to testify before the grand jury, claiming privilege. What happened there? Yeah, the federal judge really uh, rejected that and ordered Pence to testify. The judge said while former Vice President Mike Pence is protected from talking about legislative activity uh, with former President Trump, the privilege did not stop Pence from talking about alleged illegal activity. Mm. All right. Bree Jackson, live for us in Washington, D.C. this morning. Thank you so much for that update.